Hi YouTubers, it's on the next video on some poor, poor videos, it's going to be a very poor video. So I want to discuss a interesting ramble right now. So today is March 4th, 2018, pretty cool. Nice big ass ramble for like the, the big ass cigar. So basically, if you watch my videos on a regular basis, I know Fred like these rambles. Basically, I always say when I discuss like cigars or pipes or things that may be unhealthy or, you know, controversial, that kind of stuff. It would be different if X, Y, and Z. So not X, Y, and Z, big ass cigar of life. You get the point. So it'd be different if, if I was under 18. It'd be different if I was 500 pounds. You get the point. So right now I, I want to give you some examples. I do apologize for the lighting of the camera. Sorry about that. My window's open. I had a leak on my um, my windowsill. So the window has to re remain open. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the lighting quality. So basically, I want to give some examples of where it would be different. So a nice big ass ramble for life. First off, if I was 400 plus pounds, so I always say, you know, people have to kind of respect, you know, that I choose to be a little bit overweight, a little bit on the chubby side, chubby ass like the big ass cigar, and I choose to be a little bit on the chubby side. So it's like I'm not, you know, morbidly obese by any stretch of imagination, but I'm a little bit on the husky side. So now if I was 450 pounds, you know, 500 pounds, that's different because, you know, from a legitimate concern, from being a legitimately concerned friend, you'd say, like, Evan, you know, smoking assy, I'm really concerned about you. You know, you clearly seem like you're morbidly obese. I'm really, really concerned about you from a friend's standpoint, and I want to see you have like a heart attack when you're 30 years old. So I'm really, as a friend, I'm really concerned about you. Second off, the uh, fire hazard associated with um, cigars and pipes and cigarettes, you get the point, uh, is I'm very careful when I go outside to smoke in a smoking area, nice big ass smoking area, like a big ass cigar, I safely dispose of my cigar butts and my pipe tobacco ash, pipe tobacco ash in a pipe in the bucket. Or when I'm at home, I have ashtray, so a dog food dish which is an ashtray. And I don't throw my cigar butts like some, you know, irresponsible, arrogant asshole cigarette smokers who, you know, flick their cigar their cigarette butts all over the place. I'm somebody who always puts out my cigar butts in the right place. So I always make sure they're not hot. I make sure they're not, you know, you know, I, I'm very careful because, you know, it is a fire hazard to smoke. So, you know, some arrogant asshole cigarette smokers go like, you know, they flick their cigarette butts all over the place. Not only is it littering, you know, litter ass like the big ass cigar, okay, I'll stop. And not only is it littering, it's also, you know, a huge fire hazard, you know, throwing cigarette butts. I think that's where a lot of the hatred comes from, you know, cigarette smoking. See people, you know, throw their cigarette butts all over the place, you know, almost causing a fire or, or, or causing a fire, you get the point, big ass cigar for life. Uh, next thing is like um, secondhand smoke. So I'm aware there is a risk involved with the potential <clears throat> risk of cigar and pipe smoking, even though it's probably less dangerous than cigarettes, is I don't blow smoke in people's faces. So I always smoke not around other people unless they smoke themselves. So unless the person who I'm smoking around is a smoker themselves, they, they choose to smoke cigars and pipes so they don't mind, I will always ask somebody, do you mind me smoking around you? You know, some ignorant, ignorant cigarette smokers, you know, they'll just walk around other people going, like that. It's like uh, people are assholes. It's like, you know, they're assholes because, uh, you know, they're, you know, blowing smoke in people's faces. You know, that can give kids like asthma. That can give kids like ear infections, like respiratory infections. I mean, don't be an asshole. It's like, you know, it's like, okay, I understand, you know, you may not want to smoke outside in the cold or the rain, whatever. Rain acid. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. It gets a little bit annoying. Uh, but uh, it's like, you don't want to smoke around little kids. It's like, you know, if you're going to smoke, it's like, you know, smoking at a designated area outside, unless, of course, your apartment allows smoking, which mine does not. And, you know, even then, if you have little kids or pets, don't smoke around your little kids or your pets. You get the point. So I'm not somebody who purposely, I only smoke outdoors. I'm not an ignorant, you know, a-hole who goes around, you know, smoking around other people. In other, in other words, I don't smoke around other people. Unless they, unless they smoke themselves. So my tobacco is smoking lounge, wash the cigar in Massachusetts. I smoke in the designated area, but nowhere else. So, because all the other people in the lounge also smoke cigars. So in other words, I don't smoke around, around non-smokers. Next thing is if I was under the legal smoking age, which in Massachusetts, the legal smoking age is 18 or 21, depending on the town or city. So in West, in, in sorry, I almost said my town name, sorry. In uh, Massachusetts, sorry about that, I almost gave away my town name. In Massachusetts, um, the, the, uh, the 
legal age is between 18 and 21. So in my town, not gonna say where I live, I almost slipped up and said my town name. In my town, the legal smoking age is 18. Sorry about the rambling. Um, some towns in Massachusetts are 21, some towns are 19. Um, majority of towns are either 18 or 21. So my town is 18 years old, and I'm clearly over 18 for the last time. I am, I am uh, 26 and a half going on 27. I'll be 27 this year. So in less than a month, I'll be 27 years old. So I have a valid photo ID, a Massachusetts liquor ID, and I can clearly give them my my valid photo ID. And that's different because if I was under the legal smoking age, then you have no right in hell to smoke. I mean, if you're under 18, you should not be smoking anything, period. I don't care what you're smoking, I don't care what kind of crap you're smoking. It's like, you should be playing sports, playing video games, you know, riding your bike. It's like, smoking is an adult pleasure, regardless of what you're smoking. I hope you're not smoking anything bad. That's a cigar of life. So, smoking is an adult pleasure. Same thing as uh, scratch tickets, gambling, you know, porn. It's like, you get the point, it's adult pleasure, wine tasting. It's for adults only. It's not for people who are under 18 or under 21. And the way it looks like now, Massachusetts is gonna go 21 pretty soon. This whole state's gonna go to, the whole state is gonna go 21 pretty soon for legal smoking age. Same thing as California, Hawaii, and New Jersey. Um, so obviously you're under the legal smoking age. Smoking is not for you, it's adult pleasure, so didn't sound right because you're of life. And then the other, the last thing I want to talk about is forcing somebody to do that with you. So you may choose to smoke nice big ass cigars, big ass pipes. You may choose to be a little husky on the chubby side, but you do not have the right to force your beliefs on other people. Same thing as marijuana, same thing as alcohol, same thing as gambling, same thing as porn, you get the point. It's like some people do not enjoy it. Some people don't want to watch a dirty film with you. Some people don't want to don't want to gamble themselves. Some people, you know, consider gambling a sin. So I actually have a very good friend who considers gambling a sin. So it's like, you know, you get the point, I'm not gonna get into religion, but you get the point. It's like if somebody doesn't enjoy the hobby with you, you don't have the right to force your beliefs on them. It's like I choose to spend three or four dollars a week on scratch tickets, lottery tickets in Massachusetts, and some people, you know, choose not to because they consider it a sin. I choose to smoke one cigar a day. Some people consider one cigar a day to be as bad as you get the point. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Those would be those are the scenarios, the scenarios where it would be different. And I think I have a right to smoke one cigar a day because I'm not smoking around other people. I think I have a right to be a little bit overweight because I'm not in intimate danger. My life is not in intimate danger. And I have a right to do my own things. Big ass CR flight. Give us bye. Big ass CR flight. Nice big ass ramp flight. Bye.